my god, it's been months. It has actually been months. What am I doing here? Welcome to Zisser. What the hell am I doing? I uh, rewatched the last couple episodes. Well, skimmed them, at least. Just to see what I was at. Because it's been, as previously mentioned, it's been months. I have already forgotten 90% of this seed. Uh, welcome back to Zisser. I am Silverwolf94, and my nunchuck is breaking again. Why is this a thing? Let's plug that back in. Okay, we're fine. Uh, <laughs> this was an issue I had last time, too. Uh, nothing has really happened. I just kind of haven't really felt like playing this game. It has nothing to do with anything. Like, I'm fine. Real life is great. I'm doing fine. Uh, this game is still fun. I enjoy this game. I just haven't had the drive to play it or record anything. And what is with my nunchuck? Like, I am not touching anything. Come on. Please. What are you doing? I think I found an excuse for what I... What are you... Oh my god. I have found an excuse for why I haven't done this. Oh my god. Well, we have made ample progress this episode. Oh my god. Uh, so, uh, what are we doing today? Assuming that the nunchuck works, uh, we're doing some things. Like, it's fine now. I just have to unplug it and plug it back in and it goes back to normal. But it seems to just stop me running forward and turn around until I do that. And I don't know why. This is this definitely happened in the last episode, I remember. But it didn't overtake it. And that's also the last time I used it. So it has been a while since I've used it. And I forgot this was a problem until right now. Um, let's pretend that it's fine. So in between this episode and last episode, I did try clicking around on the uh, tracker because there was question marks down underneath those. And I realized those question marks are basically to tell us which entrance leads to which dungeon. So I filled those out now. So you might notice that's there and there's less question marks there. That, that'll that uh, help, I'm sure. Uh, what am I actually doing? I need to go to Fledge's room. I have a plan, but like... I am so rusty with this game right now that I am... I am sorry. Do I even have stamina potions? I don't have stamina potions to the shop. Anyway, there isn't really a reason I haven't played this game. I just didn't have the drive or the motivation to play. That's all there is to it. And I'm the kind of person that likes to put top quality in everything I do. So if I wasn't feeling like it, I didn't want to just force an episode out just because just to get it out there. I'd rather quality over quantity. If you're waiting two months, you're gonna be waiting two months. I'm sorry, that's just how it am. But it's always gonna be higher quality when you wait that two months, as opposed to just getting an episode forced out. Because I don't want to be the guy that's always like, yeah, I'll just do an episode today, and then it's very dry, and it's like, oh, what are we doing? What's the point? Blah, blah, blah. I'm not that kind of person. At least I don't want to be that kind of person. So, I wait until I'm in the mood to do something. And I was kind of just burnt out, I guess, on this game. And not feeling it. Plus, I was working a lot more, so I was just exhausted a lot more. So I couldn't really get any higher quality content out. Speaking of which, I had six shifts this week. That's not stopping me today. I want to play Skyward Sword. I'm like, I've left this for two months. This is not what I'm meant to talk to. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't need to infuse those. Um, like, I left the series for two months, and that is a bit too long. And I do want to play it again, because we're so close to the end, and I'm like, yeah, we can get there. There might be, like, three episodes left, maybe, including this one. Maybe less, maybe more. Um, but that's my estimate, because we, we have almost everything at this point. We have to complete a couple dungeons, sure, but, you know, that's... That doesn't take too terribly long. We're probably going to be entering a dungeon today because uh, there's a couple of things to do with Fledge, but mostly I wanted to check out the Sky Keep and see if I can do anything there. So, Fledge has a uh, side quest that we have to give him stamina potions, and then he does stuff and we sleep. And yeah, he's trying push ups here, as you can see. Five, six, seven, I'm bad. Five, oh my god. Seven push-ups, that's all I can do. I'm pathetic. If only I had stamina. Yes, here, have a stamina potion. 
Wow, I owe you one. Yes, you do. But we'll get there later. Yeah, he's feeling so strong, he can definitely go. So it doesn't really matter what I say, I don't think. So just, yes, you can. Yeah. I don't think it matters what I say there, but now I just have to go to the next night. Oh, he's still struggling with those push-ups. Look at him. Oh, but now he's at 55, 56, 57 instead of 5, 6, 7. So, you know, he's making progress. If only we had more stamina potions. Oh, wait, we do. Here you go. So he drinks it again. But now when we go to sleep and wake up, we're sleeping for another 24 hours, by the way. Wake up at night again. Yeah, that's all we did that whole day. Video game. Oh, now he's not even exhausted. He's just going fast. Well, those are higher numbers. 3985, 3986, 3987, 3998. Oh yeah, he's he's fit. That was a nice warm-up. Yeah, it only took him three days to become the best, so uh you're too strong now. No, you're just saying that, but it's good to hear, yes it is. Now what what now? Oh, he gives me the tycoon wallet. We can hold another rupee wallet. Yep, that was one item we got. Where's my rupees? Uh where where's the wallet? Is it this one? I think it's that one. Yeah, that's the final rupee wallet upgrade. So we can hold 9,900, I think. So, yeah. Because 9,000 plus the 900 we have from the other one. So, yeah. I remember correctly, Sledge is on the other side. Yeah, he's out here next to the training hall. And he has a minigame for us. So we have a minigame that's either really easy or really hard, depending on your luck. But basically, I have to shoot pumpkins. And if they hit the ground, I lose money. Cost 20 rupee. Oh my god. So, it's like points. You get 10 points, but if they hit the ground, you lose your streak, and you have to get a certain score. I don't know what the score is. But, yeah. You can't lose your streak very much here, because you keep getting more points for each pumpkin, as you can see. And that one was glowing, so I got a times two bonus. Seems like it's hard right or it seems pretty easy right now, but it does get harder. Oh, that one I almost missed. Ooh, okay, I'm getting stressed out now already. I'm hoping I can do this in one sitting. Come on. I don't remember the score I need. I'm just gonna go as high as I can. Ah, oh, I've missed my streak up. Back to ten. It's not over yet, maybe. I actually don't know if I need like how many points I need, so it might be over, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> oh, it goes higher. Oh, I think I almost missed that one. Where's he going? He's faster. Oh, I'm getting stressed out. Oh, he's going all the way over here. Oh, no, I missed it. Oh, God. Okay, okay. I still have 27 seconds. I might only need like 500 points or something, or maybe 600. Oh, crap. He's throwing them way too far now. You can see this gets a little harder near the end. Oh my god. Yeah, I only have 10 seconds left. I don't know how many points I needed. I don't think I made it unless I only needed 500, in which case, great. Let's see. What did I need? I didn't pay attention enough to remember what I needed. Does he tell me I did good? Does he give me an item? 5.30, that's great, you're good, here's your prize. Elden Ore, I don't know. Oh, I have to hit 600? Oh, okay, 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 I could do this.
That took so long! <laughs> Each attempt is a minute and 30 seconds, plus the time between where you gifted the item and loading the next one. It was like two minutes for every attempt. Oh my god, I got 7.30 that time. Like, you either don't win, or... Okay, I actually got some money from it. You know what? I, I can't be that mad. Money is great. I need money for a lot of stuff in Beetle Shop. I'm not even that upset. That said, on this side of the island, however, is where we can access the next dungeon, which we don't know what it is because randomizer. But it's definitely not Sky Keep because we've already seen the Sky Keep. This is how you normally enter the Sky Keep. So, yeah. Uh, in the last episode, I asked you guys if you ever... Skip the cutscene. No, I didn't. I asked you guys if you ever... Uh, decided to do something the more stubborn and hard way because you were being too stubborn or whatever and you didn't want to do it the easy way even though it would only take like a second to do it the easy way. And I got a lot of comments. Not all of them answered the comment question today, but the last episode has 25 comments on it. I, I know not all of them answered the comment question of the day, but and some of them were me in response to you guys, but like that is still a ridiculous amount of comments. So I need to thank you guys for being here and, you know, watching me and being loyal even when I am not here. I appreciate that. I'm sorry that it's taken so long for the episode. Anyway, our first answer to that common question of the day comes from Jamie Harker, and they said, When playing Luigi's Mansion, they were fighting a boss and getting frustrated when it disappeared. They assumed they'd have to start the whole fight over, so they hit the power button on their GameCube, but the boss reappeared before they let go. So they became determined to finish the fight and save the game with their fingers still holding the power button, knowing it wouldn't turn off until they let go. Also, welcome to the Ancient Cistern. I have the key and the boss key and the dungeon item so i might just finish this place let's find out uh i can't guarantee anything but let's just play for now and we'll see what happens i want to go through this dungeon like i'm 30 minutes into this recording like that's that's insane granted some of that was during setup so it wasn't the whole thing but most of that was that freaking mini game and some of it was me explaining what I was doing and why it took me so long to get back to this and just running around doing nothing so like this episode has been short for you guys perspective but it's been long for mine so like let's see what we could do in here but I'm not making any promises on what we can do <laughs> Ooh, money I will always accept money um the next answer to the comment question of day whoa don't blame on that. Ow. Pain. The next answer to the comment question of the day comes from Sneaky Ninja Froggy. And they said, Anytime they play a platforming game, they have to go the fastest route, even if it means they spend more time failing than they would by taking the slower route. I 100% agree with this. I usually take that same approach for, like, no other reason. I forget the code here. I'll be honest. Uh. Um. What is the code here? Uh-oh. I might have to go and actually find it the real person way. Uh, help! <laughs> um, I... I know it ends with down up, I think. I know it ends in up. What? Where do I go? <laughs> Yeah, it's not too out of the way to get the code. I mean, it is, but it's not as bad as it sounds. And then next answer to the comment question of the day comes from Meaty Guy DP, and they said that they used to try and do things in less trips, even if it meant each trip would be longer and more frustrating. Yeah, I completely understand that, and making multiple trips can be a, more annoying because then you feel like you're backtracking more than doing anything else. So like. Yeah, completely understand that mentality. I, yeah, a lot of the people tend to have play styles similar to mine, I've noticed. I'm very generic. Also, the good news about getting this code is I can get these rupees. That's another 100 rupees. But the code is written on the back of the hand left. Okay, I know left, but when? When is it left? Uh, that doesn't help. <laughs> uh, it might help if I come in up here. I think there's like something I can read that tells me. Or maybe I'm just losing my mind. I 
genuinely don't remember what the code is. Uh, give me the rupees. That's uh, not the rupees! Okay. Come on, you just gotta collect the rupee and then you're safe. Got it. Now he closes the hand, it stays closed, so I go and check it. So the right hand said left. The left hand says right. Yeah. That's to be expected. Aha! The back of the statue says up. That doesn't help us though. What order do we do it in? There is a sign. What does it say? Gemstones pointing in four directions wisely. The way will only open for those who know the temple's secret order. Well, I know the secret order. What is it? That wasn't it. Just hit it down. Left hand, right hand, like, come on. I've done this. Ah, uh, I know what it is. What do you, what do you do? Like, what is the answer? Right, left, up, down, right, left, down, up. I, it ends with down, up. I know it does. It has to. I need to look this up because I don't understand. I've been doing it backwards. Up, down, left, right. Oh my god. I was doing it backwards. I'll be okay. I had to Google that. I'm bad. Don't worry about it. In we go. I knew it was like both horizontals and both verticals together. I just didn't know what order. And I thought I knew the order and I didn't and it's fine. There's probably something pointed somewhere to tell you that. I've solved it before. It's fine. I'm not upset. What I am upset at is this guy. For no other reason than he was in my way. And he dropped money and I don't care enough to go back for it right now. Because right here there is a thing that we can knock over. There we go. Yeah, that was probably obnoxious. People who knew the code were probably just like, Oh my god, you're so dumb. What the hell? I don't know. I, I agree. <laughs> anyway, the next answer to our common question of the ouch comes from Scarlet Griffin. And they said once they've played a game enough where the easy way becomes boring, they go about it in a circuitous route that can usually be more fun a lot more often. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. Doing the same thing over and over again, whether it's easy or hard, thanks, Rupor. Whether it's easy or hard can still get stale, so it doesn't really matter about the difficulty in that regard. But definitely doing things more stylishly is definitely a more fun way to go about things, so approve. Uh, and the final answer to the comment question of the day comes from Pi Prideful Penguin Sprinkles. And they said that whenever they played Skyward Sword and got to the boss fight, they would stop and wait for their sister to visit so they could stay up all night and play. And now they're waiting at the sand ship for the next time their sister visits instead of just playing the game now. And that was two months ago, so I have to wonder. Specifically comment question for Prideful Penguin. Has your sister shown up? Since it's been two months, I'm curious. Are you still waiting? Or have you played the game since? Has, has your sister showed up? Have you beaten the sand ship? I'm genuinely curious. I want to know. Hello, Lenny. I approve. So uh, everyone else gets their own question of the day, but Prideful Penguin Sprinkles gets that one instead, just out of pure curiosity. Um, I don't even know what the next comment question is going to be. That's that's not an important thing right this second. Well, it might be, but uh, that's a bug metal. I don't really care about that. I also just realized I didn't even get my rupee medals back out of the item check. Oops. Oh well. Because <laughs> I just have the... Uh, oh god, he's on me. Because I just have the uh, extra bottles I had for the stamina potion, so I only had to make one trip to Fletch, and I forgot to... Oh well, it's fine. Uh, what can I even do? Like, I, I have the whip already, so I can do things out of order, so it's just a matter of what do I do. Come on, go down. Thank you. I probably should have done this, or should have done that center area beforehand, but... Because I'm... I think I'm skipping. I... I see a dungeon item in there now. I think I can go back and get it easily, but I'm pretty sure I can, at least. I'm like 95% sure I can. I don't see why they would make it impossible, because I can raise that again anyway. But I might be able to just get it? I don't know for sure. I made a shortcut here anyway. 
That's something. What is... I can go in here, right? Uh, I have to open that up a different way first. Okay. That's fine. I have to go in the center. I should have gone in the center early because that was a dead end before and now I've opened a path forward, so... Oops! That That's fine. We're, we're, we're learning. We're doing stuff. Things that I have to spend full time going back for that I'll end up cutting for you guys to make easier on you. You're welcome. Don't say I never do anything for you. Um, actually, that'll be a good common question of the day, even though it has nothing to do with what we were just doing, but it was something that came to mind anyway. Um, I was struggling a lot in that mini game for uh, the bow, and it took so much time. And it's very similar to what the last comment question was, but instead, I'm just going to ask something a bit more... Oh, this is where it tells me the code, isn't it? Yes, they revealed, like, carved into the great statue or inscriptions of gratitude, they reveal the secret order. First the back, then the rear, then the back of the right hand, and the back of the... Okay, well, that's how you're supposed to figure it out. <laughs> anyway, um, so the uh, common question of the day is going to be, have you ever had a moment where you knew you couldn't give up because it was like, I can do this, it's so easy, why am I failing? And you just refuse to give up, and it still takes you, like, so much longer for no reason. <laughs> You're just like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's both the minigame and the door code, actually. Yeah, that's a very good comic question of the day. Yeah, that that's the one. That is that is the one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is easy. Why am I failing? Let's go. Yeah, that. That's the comic question. Put into an example, I guess. <laughs> This is the mini boss that's supposed to lead you to the uh, dungeon item, which in this game is the whip. In the vanilla game. But uh, we already have the whip. So instead, he's, he would lead us to another item. But since we lowered this, he's going to lead us to a new area instead. Oops. Owie. He did the pain on me. Okay. He takes a lot more hits than I remember. Yeah, what is happening? I have the true Master Sword. Thank you. Why was he taking so long? That's some other thing. Like, that shouldn't have taken that long. What the hell? Okay, anyway, um, this is going to lead us to a new area instead of the dungeon item. So, I'll come back for the dungeon item. Whoops. Uh, this area is also known in the community as hell. Because it basically is. Because there's lava everywhere, you're underground, and there's zombies. And the zombies don't die. And where do I... Okay, this is where I'm going. Yeah. The zombies don't die unless you ending blow them. Like, I have to do the fatal blow, which for some reason wouldn't work. Otherwise, they will never die. So that's kind of cool. The reason it's called Hell is another thing. Something, something story with the spiders uh, thread. Someone was, like, so bad, and the spider's like, Oh, you didn't kill me. Let me help you. And then he, like... Uh, he doesn't help the zombies that are chasing him or something, so he's uh, forced down into the underworld for all eternity or something. I don't, I don't remember the story exactly, but that's the gist of it, and that's basically what happens in here. Spoiled it. You're welcome. I told you from the start of the series, though. Ah, what are you doing? Get up there. I told you from the start of the series that if you don't want spoilers, not to watch this episode, or not to watch this series. Um, yeah, I need to... What do I do again? Uh, oh yeah, it's in the eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beetle, go! I still need to get the speed beetle at some point. This is so slow. I'm so used to having the speed beetle. It's just so much better. Eh. I don't even have the hook beetle, actually. Can I do this? Can I throw a bomb? That's how you're supposed to do it. Is you're supposed to hook beetle that bomb over. Can I just throw it? Uh-oh. I might not be able to do this. I might need the hook beetle. Hold on. Well, that was great. I walked a little too far. It did not look like I could make it. Hmm... Uh, I'm gonna try something here. Do a timed throw. Like this! 
Okay, that'll work, but I need to time it better. Or it should work. It might work. It might not. Let's see. I don't know if this will work, actually. I think I might need the hook beetle. But yeah, I don't know for sure if this is possible. I would just like to believe it's possible. Much too early. I don't know the timing on this either, so... Oh! No, I don't think it's possible. That was, like, perfectly in line. And I'm, like, as far forward as I can walk right now. I don't think it's possible. And I'm pretty sure that me swinging on my uh, whip is not going to work either. No, I'm blocked by that. And I'm like Wind Waker. I can't climb up. Like, this is the only elevation I get to try. Yeah. This is meant to blow it up. Um, I don't think I can get it from here. Wait, can I just claw shot one of these? Is that something I can do? Oh my god. I saw it. Oh, this thing is in the way. No. Oh, come on. This might be possible. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> All right, we don't need the hook beetle, ladies and gentlemen. No, we do not. We have found a way. <laughs> oh, that is that is amazing. I think, unless everybody else knew about that, and I'm dumb. But hooray, <laughs> we can make progress. Okay, I would have thought I needed the uh, hook beetle, but that's fine. We we actually got past it. So um. Let's pretend I didn't waste, like, 12 bombs trying something that's definitely not possible. And, uh, follow the day. <laughs> Can I just get around this again? Like, does the claw shots just break this place? No, I can't. Okay. Needed to know. Well, that works. <laughs> that was a speedrun strat, I think. Nice. Okay, I almost missed that. That would have been terrible, I think. We're fine. Just go back over. And now it goes the other way again. But we have access to this thing. Which I think is where we need to go. Because now if we drop off on this side, we're done this part of the area, I want to say. There's not a lot of dungeon, or there's not a lot of items in this uh, dungeon. Also, this is the place I was talking about. And I'm making a shortcut. The place I was talking about with the spider thread that, like, the zombies try to, like, climb up after the guy and he can't make it. And he's like, no, shaking him off. This is my thread. And then the, they cut the thread and whatever. Because if they cut the thread, then they all stay in hell. It's like, well, you had one last chance to be benevolent. You wouldn't let anyone else... Or benev benevolent, not benevolent. Anyway. Uh, you had one last chance to prove yourself, and you failed, so enjoy hell forever. So, yeah, this is hell, and that's why. And, uh, unlike that, if we let them grab onto us, we die, so... And this spider isn't gonna be evil and cut us down. We're just able to escape. Link is better than that guy in hell, because he doesn't deserve to be in hell, I think. I don't know. Well, I do know that I can lower this now. And now we have a shortcut here, so I can raise this again. I think raising this again will allow me to get that dungeon item as well as get to the boss. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't actually know. I feel like I have to be able to get in somewhere, because, like, I didn't do a whole part with a chest where you get the boss key. Unless I threw... Oh, no, I raised that, and then I fall back down. Yeah, okay, I'm good. I know what I'm doing. Wee! And I somehow grabbed this. Okay. So yeah, I needed to go and get the boss key now, which was underneath that statue, which was at the beginning, right here. And the boss key is going to give us what? What is this going to be? Do I get to mark anything on my tracker? The answer is no. It's just a small quiver, which is nice, but I don't need it. And now this is falling. I just have to escape. And that was easy. <laughs> so this uh, this did lower it again which means I have to actually go back up 
the other way if I wanted to raise it, which is why I made that shortcut right here. For the, oh, wait, it's just a pulley thing here. Yeah, can I just jump down and grab it? Ha-ha! <laughs> cool, I think. Yeah, that was, that was cool. I've never done it that way before. <laughs> well, there's a first time for everything, I suppose. That was kind of fun. Yeah, we're definitely finishing this dungeon, and that's definitely going to be it for this episode. This has gone on way too long, but for you guys, probably just a normal length episode. I don't think it'll be that much longer yet. No, wait, isn't there something hidden behind here? Because, yeah, there's a whole... Se yeah, there is a chest. There's a whole section we haven't been to yet. More money! I'm glad I can hold that. I'm so used to finding rupees in Ocarina of Time randomizers and just not being able to hold it. Because even though you have, like, the best wallet in the game, it only lets you hold, like, 900 and 99. Which is a randomizer thing. In the base game, you can only hold a max of 500, which is just insanely not enough to play that game. Uh, well, it is, because in the base game, money is kind of pointless, and you never need to spend anything. So, whatever. I think I just have to pull this, and we're going down. What is that other section? Unless it's just on the route from here? I don't remember. I'm forgetting parts of this dungeon, to be honest. Owie. That's gonna open a whirlpool. There's nothing else in this room, I don't think, because I just skipped it with the claw shots. You're not technically supposed to have the claw shots when you get to this dungeon, so... Because you do this dungeon first before you do... Ow! Before you do the uh, Lanero area. Actually, you go to Lanero right after this to get that. Let's check the map again. No, we're done in here. Yeah, there's this section up here I need to get to still. I think I can just get there just by going through this. So let's go into the Whirlpool! I am doing this dungeon completely out of order, by the way. <laughs> There is there is no rhyme or reason to what I am doing right now. I'm just kind of just kind of playing the game. So I think there's a chest back here. I'm losing my mind, or is that correct? I think I'm losing my mind. Oh, there's a save point. A save point and an amber relic. Oh, thanks for telling me about those. I didn't know what it was. Um, oh, I, I remember what to do. Yeah, you need the beetle for this section. I might be able to do it with the bow, but I mean I have the beetle. I don't need hook beetle at least, so it's fine. Because you just gotta knock down these guys. I'm gonna try it with the bow, just out of pure curiosity, if anything. Oh yeah, bow works. Just for future reference, if anyone comes here and doesn't have the beetle, you could do it with the bow. Actually, I don't think you need the beetle in this dungeon at all if you have the claw shots, because I just skipped that area. Learning is fun! I think there's a skippable thing. He has a key on him, and I don't think he drops it if you kill him, and that's just a goddess bloom. I didn't need that, I guess. That's fine. We have another key. Open the door. Woo! Well, I think that's actually it. There's, there's nothing else there. We got that guy's key. Oh yeah, this does put me out of the other area. Also, it's saying I don't have a key to the cistern, but I had two, so I guess I uh, didn't mark that earlier. So it's marked now, because I've used both keys. Whoops. It's fine. Uh, forgetting things, as long as you try it and it works, it's fine. We, we had both keys. We got them. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Where are we going? Up here. Oof. Yeah. This is a little bit of a roundabout way to do things, because there is a... Oh god, this is that room with the other area that I wasn't at. Yeah, if I look on the map... Yeah, this is the upper section. I don't think there's anything in here, though. No, I think I'm literally just done. I just need to get out, so... Uh, there's like 20 rupees underneath here or something, so I'm just gonna get those. Yay! I think there's actually a couple other things, too, but I don't really care enough. I just want the money. Where are they? Get it. Oh my god. I want the rupees. I almost have over a thousand rupees. It's a lot. I can almost afford beetle things. Owie. Climbing up. This sends us into the other part of this room. 
Come on. I'm doing vertical. Thank you. You know what? Even if this episode is a little longer, it'll probably make up for me uh, not being here for a couple of months. So I'm not too worried about it. We're just going to beat the dungeon. It's fine. Yeah, because now I can jump over to the other side. Woo. Oopie. There we go. We flip that again, and now we can get to the other side, which allows us to go up these stairs and make progress in the dungeon. It's a little roundabout way to do this, but it's not that bad. It's a, it's how we get back to the main room, I guess, which technically is required, because we can't really warp out unless we just use one of the bird statues, which I guess we could do, but there's the fun in that, because, yeah, that's technically how we're supposed to get over here, but we already did this because I had the claw shots, so I kind of broke this dungeon. So yeah, we did not need to do that. We got the item that was down there, and we could have just skipped from there. But anyway, there's one item left in the boss. So, uh, back down where I fought that Stalfos is where I'm going. Alright, so down here where we fought the Stalfos, if we go through the door this time, instead of leading us down to what we uh, called Hell... Back in a sec. Alright, so over here... Is a locked door this time. And now I see why I only had one key marked on the tracker. I, I made a mistake. I knew I knew that it took a key to get in there, but I was already in there from the other door. I forgot that I was in there from the other door. So I'm like, oh, I just used the key and I completely spaced it. And uh, yeah, we can't actually finish that now. So, um... Whoops. <laughs> well, we made a decent amount of progress. I think we can afford one of Beetle's items. Because if we buy some of his, like, expensive items, he can, like, show us other stuff. I don't remember exactly what he had. I think he had a Rupor for, like, 800 rupees. I might buy that. I know, that's, like, stupid. But he only unlocks other items after you buy them. So... I might have to bite the bullet and buy them to see what the last item is. The last item is 1,600 rupees. So if we don't know what the 1,600 rupee item is, I might have to buy some of this super expensive junk. Which is the, actually great, because it means you have to go out of your way to grind money for crap. Which is amazing in a, as a concept, but it's quite obnoxious otherwise. Item check lady. Petrus, give me my stuff. I... Just please give me my items back. I want rupee medals. And rupee medal. And instead of this bottle, I will take... Actually, having a bottle is kind of useful. If I get a second one of these, I'll probably add the quiver, because I do want to use that quiver. But instead of the bottle, I'm going to actually put the stamina potion there, just because I'll probably end up using that just myself, because I bought an extra one by accident, not realizing that I... Only needed two for Fledge, I thought. I needed three. I have been recording for over an hour now, and there hasn't been that much cut because of that dungeon, so... Speaking of which, I forgot, but I can actually change this over to the Ancient Cistern now. Yay, because we found that. Only two dungeons we haven't been in. Sand Ship and Earth Temple. We'll probably enter the Sand Ship next episode. Alright, what do we have? What is this? Report for 600, I might have to buy you, because you're on the end. Um... It's this one. Report for 400. I can afford both of those. I might buy both of them just to get them out of the way. Piece of heart for 500. Okay, I'll buy the piece of heart just so I can feel like I've accomplished something. I'm going to leave just in case that shows the item and I don't have to buy a Rupor. Because he might show me the item. Because I still need like the 1,000 rupee item, the 1,200 rupee item, and the 1,600 rupee item, I think. So like, there's a lot of rupee stuff to do in here. What does he have in stock there? Not, nothing. I have to buy the Rupors. I'll buy the 400 rupee one because I can actually afford it. It's only 800 rupees. What? But it was 400 rupees earlier. What do you mean? It was just 400. And this is 1200. They were half price. Oh, I could have lost so much less rent money. Okay, so we have the 800 and 1200. So, um, I think that was the- that heart piece was the thousand rupee reward. So if that's the thousand rupee reward, there's only one more rupee, uh, reward left from behind him. It's the sixteen hundred reward. I probably have to buy the twelve hundred rupee report in order to see it. Which sucks.
But yeah, I have to save up a minimum of 700 more rupees on top of what I currently have. Ugh. You know what? I'm not gonna do that on screen. <laughs> I'm going to end this episode now, and between this episode and next episode, I am going to go over to Fun Fun Island, the minigame with the cannon thing, and I'm going to go and grind up to 1,200 rupees. It's not a lot in the grand scheme of things. I'm not going to get the whole 1,600, but I'm going to buy that rupee next episode. And worst, com worst case scenario, and it doesn't show me the 1,600, and I have to buy the 800, then I'll grind that another episode. That's that's a future problem. I'm going to grind the 1,200 rupees for next episode. Maybe I'll just get 2,000 and get both of them. It'll take a long time. Nothing you need to watch. No grand prizes. No items are going to be obtained. It's just grinding money, which I'm sure you don't want to watch. So uh, we'll just end it there. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Skyward Sword. Zisser. Oh my god. It has been months. I'm hoping it's not going to be this long again. But it might be. I don't know. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not leaving. The series will get finished. Don't don't question that. It will get finished. It's just a matter of when, not if. It will always come back until it's actually finished. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you like it that much. Don't forget to leave a comment, preferably answering the comment question today or telling me what you liked or did not like about this episode. And we will see you 700 rupees richer. Or whatever, or maybe more, I haven't decided. In the next episode of Zisser.